Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to jump right into it today. What advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know, please, for the best and highest good? of all involved with Aquarius. All right, so we will lay out the tarot here and we are going to pull a Moonology card just to give us kind of a theme for the reading. You have here the first quarter moon in Aries, step into your power, okay? Time to be powerful. Take that leap of faith. You have the six of pentacles, the eight of wands, the Ten of Wands, what's that doing in here? The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of uh, Cups, I like that. The Sun, that's looking real good. The Strength card and the Knight of Cups, you got a new offer coming in here, but boy, is this glorious. Okay, you have new beginnings here. Now, if it's a relationship, I do feel like things are going to move quickly, but it sure is built on love and it's going to be long term. The Sun is one of the happiest cards in the deck. You have Leo here. Fire, water, earth as well. But God, is this great, isn't it? As you go into this new year, I feel like your life is going to be full of hope, inspiration. You're going to have great ideas. Follow those. Do something. Cultivate those great ideas. Turn those thoughts into things. That's what they're saying right here. Now, in a relationship, you have somebody very dreamy coming in. I feel like, too, they would move heaven and earth for you, and they mean it, too. And it's not some kind of narcissistic crap where they reel you in and they turn psycho. This is somebody who's, he, they mean it, really. Now, you have two infinity, well, you've got two eights here. I guess I shouldn't say two infinity symbols. So I feel like you're going to be in sync with people. You've got that nice feeling of unity, rhythm, vibration. It's going to be fantastic. So if you're looking to move on with a job, with the Six of Pentacles, some of you, if you do any kind of freelance or consulting or you're looking for a side hustle, I feel like it's going to be worth it. You know, there's you hear about people all the time that do side hustles and when they calculate it, they go, what a waste, you know, that sort of thing. Not here. I feel like you actually have something coming in. And if you work in the med medical field and you're considering doing some kind of travel job, I feel like you're going to be in high demand. You might even have a, I hear, bidding war. Like there's somebody here where I feel like you have people fighting for you um, and they're willing to pay for it, okay? Especially if you know that your job is in demand or if you work for yourself and you're considering raising your rates. I mean, truthfully, I've had every service I have raised their rates. I'm not encouraging that as a consumer, but I do feel like if you've been one of the last and you say, I just haven't gone that direction, I feel like you're gonna get paid more or you may have people who tip you better because they see that you haven't done it. But either way, you've got compensation. Now, if you are looking to clean out some clutter and sell things online, you're going to make bank off of it. Whatever it is with the Six of Pentacles, it will be worth it. It's worth your time. You're not going to be putting up, you know, 12 pictures of stuff on Mercari and not getting any hits. It'll be like bing, bang, boom. You're going to be selling things flying off the shelves. So this brings in balance. It feels easy. It's like easy money is what I hear. I keep hearing it's easy money. So with the Eight of Wands, things are going to move fast. Get ready. Because with this one, it is braced for change. But you grab a hold of one of the end of those wands and take off, Aquarius. This is the kind of energy that's exhilarating. Your life expands. It feels fun, adventurous. Now, in terms of a relationship, things are going to move quickly. Now, if you're already in something, I see it growing and evolving and getting better day by day. It is a beautiful relationship. And it really is built on all the right things. And you have this law of attraction energy here. And so you're attracting them and they're attracting you. You're supposed to be together. There's nothing worse than force manifesting somebody. They show up, we somehow get tangled up with them, and then it doesn't work out. And we go, oh God, I should have seen the signs. Not here. The signs are green lights saying, let's go. And so with this Eight of Wands, things move fast, but the communication is solid. It's very clear, and it's all about a yes. That's what I keep hearing. You have a yes card here, too, by the way. This is also a yes. So if you're asking a yes or no question, I'm going to tell you, yes is the answer here. So with this Eight of Wands, the Arrows of Love, if you are single, you might have more than one hit. 
but there's one coming in that'll be stand out from the rest. There's no confusion. There's no second guessing. This is delight. It's like your heart and their heart go pitter pat. And so with this 10 of wands energy, this is kind of an interesting card here. I do feel like somebody in terms of putting a little bit of effort in, it's short though. This feels like you put in the work and you get the payoff. So I don't feel like it's anything hugely burdensome with this reading. I would say too, though, if you are looking at changing jobs and going somewhere else, you're going to have a great offer. And so there may be something about you where you naturally want to wrap up loose ends, or if you're moving and you're feeling a bit of this 10 of wands burden, or you're even helping somebody, or you've got a lover, you've got a relationship and you're trying to consolidate and move in together. I just feel like this is temporary. I don't feel like it's a significant or a key player in this. I just don't want to give it too much, or honestly, too much time because I just don't think it's that important in the reading. Um, so with the, the Ace of Pentacles, this is important. It's new resources coming in. And so I do feel like this is going to be a very solid money year for you. And if you are a creative type, you may find that your, creati your creativity starts turning into money. If you do something with um, like self-improvement or like, you know, hair, makeup, tattooing, stuff like that. I don't know if everyone would agree tattooing is self-improvement, but it's art and people like it. So if it makes somebody feel good, then that's for you. Um, but I do feel like you have new resources coming in. So especially if you do have your own business and you need some help, like you're starting to get too busy. But I also feel like with this, it's on the other side of that, it's new resources, like new job opportunities. And I feel like too, if you get a side hustle, you're going to keep it for a long, long time. I mean, I'm talking like 10 years. I feel like it's going to be so easy for you to do it. You'll say, I can't believe I haven't done this before. It's like taking candy from a baby. Whoever thought of that, by the way, isn't that a horrible idea? I mean, unless it's like bad for the baby, I don't know why anyone would do that. But with the, the Ace of Pentacles, it is a long lasting chapter. Now, in terms of the physical body, Pentacles are about money, but they're also about manifesting. So something here with this Ten of Wands, if you've kind of gotten into a plateau or maybe you, you know, you hit one too many charcuterie boards, too many carbs, too much sugar, you go, ah, God, um, I feel like you have something new coming in that's going to get you back on track. I don't feel like all your hard work has been wasted. If you're kind of like, what did I just do to myself? I feel like you're going to be on the right track and you're going to be more motivated than ever. So if you still have a health and fitness goal to achieve, I feel like you have something new coming in, some kind of a new resource here that's going to bring in a tipping point, make it a whole lot easier. And so with the Ace of Cups here, this is that beautiful cup. Now I have to point this out because not all the Aces have this. The other two the hand is shaped differently, but look at how they're offering this up to you. Like here, just take it Aquarius. This is for you because you're beautiful and you deserve love. You deserve opportunities. You're a divine being. That's why you're here to expand and grow. And so pain happens in life, but suffering's optional. And so with this Ace of Cups, if you had some heartbreak at some point, or if you've been in a situation, like we said with that Ten of Wands, in a relationship where it's been a bit stretched thin, I feel like you're going to come back to center. If you are in a relationship too, and you're like we were talking about, you're moving or something, or even if it's like one of your jobs has just kept you too busy, I feel like here's where you get back to why are we together in the first place, where we get that excitement and the chemistry and the romance coming back around because you have a very romantic energy coming in. And so with this Ace of Cups, it's really about living that really great life, even if it's a job. Or even like we talked about with some kind of health or fitness, it feels like this where you say, I get up and I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to check my email. I can't wait to check my, you know, news feed. Whatever it is, it's this where you have an eagerness. You have, it's like you're in love with your life again. So this Ace of Cups offers unlimited opportunities for growth, abundance, expansion in every way and so expect expect good things to come when you see this and so 
the sun energy, this beautiful sun is high vibrational stuff. It is a card of pure positivity and illumination. I feel like you get up and you see your life with brand new eyes. Like I really see the opportunities here. I see all that has life has to offer. And even if you've been in a bit of a funk, I feel like not here, this will snap you out of it so fast. And so this is a card of synergy, finding a match. So with a job too, I definitely see you as getting more money, but with the sun energy, it brings in some autonomy too. So if you are a creative type, where you have the freedom to do that. You're not being confined or constricted by somebody else's ideas. And if you work with other people and you come together, I feel like you'll have great flow. The synergy, it's finding a match, but these wavy rays are vibration. And that banner of victory signals that you are gonna achieve more than you realized. It is truly time for you to step into your power. And the sunflowers, of course, in the backdrop are also a symbol of finding the perfect match. So whatever it is you're asking about, here's where you walk right into everything you wanted. That's what it's about. And so it's happiness, gain, riches, freedom, and it's a new energy that kind of recharges your life, that renewal, that brand new lease on life where you say, I, I know that this world has a lot for me. I know that I am here to expand and to enjoy all the beautiful things available. So with the strength card, this is also a card of success. This can also represent fertility, which you have here a few times if you're asking about that. But this is a card too of having relationships that are so deeply understood and meaningful and trustworthy, compassionate. But it's also a card that says, be brave, be bold, be a little bit daring. You won't be disappointed because we didn't come here to play small. We came here to expand and this is your expansion. So the Knight of Cups brings in an offer and it is a wonderful offer. Now in terms of love though, like I said, it's very romantic. It's a very sentimental gift. I feel somebody's going to get a very sentimental, meaningful gift. It brings tears to your eyes. And it may be something too that just surprises you that you're not expecting. I just keep getting this unexpected energy, but it's delightful. It's wonderful. All right, let's see, Aquarius, what else do you need to know? <clears throat> Messages, please, for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius, please. All right, my friends, listen to your intuition. Follow it, so meditate, quiet the mind so you really feel that strong connection. You have recovery, so if you've been a little tapped out, I don't see that sticking around. Helpful people come in. I'm telling you what, you got new resources. You have here perfect timing. So if you're single, it's a great time to meet somebody and don't stop because you're on the right path, Aquarius. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.